This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Edward Kwan. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Some people need to ride huge roller coasters just to feel a thrill. Other people need things like BDSM just to feel something in their soul. Bella from the Twilight series had to take dangerous motorcycle rides just to trick herself to start seeing Edward again. And Edward had to let Bella cuck him in front of Jacob at least 20 times per movie just to feel alive again. But me, I don't do none of that pussy. I go straight to the primordial source, baby. I review fish tanks on TikTok. I believe one of the scariest things is to realize what your own species can do to another living creature when it comes to abusing these innocent living things. I used to get pretty upset finding out all sorts of nasty things about dolphins and what they teach their young to do to other animals and how they torture their food before eating it. But now when I hear that, I get all sorts of cuddly and cute feelings because in comparison to dolphins, the things my species teach their young and do themselves Oh boy. Fish tank re Oh my god! You. So my fish just passed away. Oh, Bubba! Now that he has a clean burial, he can finally go to fish heaven. The only thing remotely positive about this clip is that he actually had the decency to make sure the toilet was clean before flushing the fish down. I wouldn't be surprised if that brilliant idea of cleaning the toilet came to him because he was about to film this and as he starts filming this TikTok he realized how dirty his crapper is. He doesn't want to show this to everyone online, he doesn't want to expose himself and his dirty little starfish antics to the whole world. Make it look like he wants a proper burial for the fish, a proper farewell into the abyss. The first second of this clip showed me and all of us enough that he did not give a crap about his fish. Now I realized there's a lot of comments on TikTok especially for these fish keeping TikTok things, some NPCs that are spamming. Wow the fish police finally showed up. Just to clarify, we're not going to the police about it, we're not being Karens about it. It's a living animal and it should be treated with some form of respect. Like would you do that to a dog? No? Because it's too big? What about a cat? It's smaller than a dog. What about a hedgehog? We're all on the same side. I bet no one really wants to see animals suffer unless you're truly a psychopath. It's not that deep. I am not the fish police. All I'm doing is making fun of these losers and making a quick buck out of them from the content that I produce. Everybody gets a laugh and I hopefully get paid by YouTube. The keyword here is hopefully. Big shout out to my patrons for supporting what I do on this channel and being the source of stability. Please consider supporting me on Patreon yourself and you get perks in return such as joining our fishkeeping discord where you can meet some of our mods like Egg and Meg which is short for Megalodon. These are also some of the members of our community that you might see. Come join us we often measure our peepees together I mean our cichlids together. Thank you for your consideration. So yesterday we went to Petsmart to get kitty litter and cat food and all that stuff. Hazel was obsessed with the fish. She wouldn't leave them. She was watching them all the time. So my hubby decided why not get her her own fish. We got a three and a half gallon tank and we let her pick her own colored gravel, the little plants, and the decoration. Bed of fish. Tank, and then we let her pick the fish itself. She got a really pretty blue and black one. When we got home, we put the gravel in, we rinsed it thoroughly, and then we put in the little decorations in the plants, and then we filled it with water and added water conditioner. I let the filter run for like 24 hours so it would be safe for the fish to go in. It's at home. Eating, it's so cute. And the actual tank changes color of the lights and it's so cool. They knew to at least some sort of extent that the water needs to be cycled a little bit. Unfortunately, it is true. Betta fish are hardier than a lot of other fish. By far the best beginner fish. That doesn't mean you should be putting every betta fish in uncycled tanks. I like that the fish was not put in right away. Fish will still be in the cup whether they bought it or not, right? If they didn't buy it, it will be in the cup for even longer. So they might as well purchase it first so they have the exact betta fish they want. The fish spends one more day in the cup and then gets put into the tank. This is actually one of the better videos. Come with us to impulsively start up Let's go! Unexpectedly wholesome. Look, I am not going to agree with that aquascape, but that is by far the least important when it comes to husbandry. Put it simply, aquascape does matter, but it matters to a marginal extent. This person is doing everything else massively right compared to a lot of other creators on TikTok. Even though it started off a little iffy, I was like, oh no, what the hell are they doing? Impulsive? Impulsive and fish keeping are really not, eh, they don't jive. But then I realized they got us in the first half.
It's that fake ass carpet, bro. That thing only lasts a week and then it grows super tall. It's Hagophila. So this is reverse goddess in the first half, but I recognized the style of the editing. I knew something not great was going in. Glowfish Daniels, streamlined body, needs a lot of space. That little tank is not gonna cut it. It could maybe hold some shrimp, more like snails. So contrary to popular belief, even though there's live plants in this tank, I like the other clip better than what we just saw. All right, so we just got our first five out of five TikTok video. Those were some stingrays, some skates, maybe even a little shark. Reminding me of like, this is like a premium version of Eel Pit. You guys know the Eel Pit guy on YouTube? I love his content. I want an Eel Pit now. That's a fancy ass house. One of my dream things to do. Imagine it planted with small fish, small schooling fish. I've yet to see that. I think it's too niche. And people with money, they are never too niche in any one hobby. Rich people are hobbyless. <laughs> Change my mind. Wow. Another five out of five TikTok fish keeping video. How unexpected. I love a good carpet clipping video like that. It's so satisfying. On top of which, the scape is really brilliant. It is a five out of five in my books. At first I was like, okay, this is a try not to cringe challenge, obviously, but as long as they don't put fish, which I don't think they would, because it just looks like a bunch of props and it's like a skit. So I didn't think they'd actually put the fish in. I was like, oh, I'll take it. As long as it's not real fish abuse, it's getting a five out of five from me, no matter how cringe. First of all, I failed the try not to cringe contest because I was cringing hard. And second, this is zero out of five. They put a freaking real fish in there. Lose, lose situation is what grandma Wang liked to call that. Welcome to Shrimp's Mind. Shrimp what in tarnation? That is one of the most beautiful shrimp bowl aquascapes that I have ever seen. Not just on TikTok, in my entire life. That is a complete five out of five. Look at the ingenuity. Look at the algae growth that's on purpose and it just matches so well. It's like a whole freaking valley full of cherry shrimp. That's crazy. Okay, TikTok's got some amazing fish keeping content. I gotta do like a compilation of just amazing TikTok content. That's another five out of five. What are we at, like three now? That's crazy. Have y'all seen cannibalistic snails before? Huge snail population. Oh my. I started with just two, and now as you can see, there's about two million. Okay. So these snails are called assassin, assassin snails. snails. And they basically eat other snails. They are cannibals. So I'm going to put them in this tank, and hopefully, they start eating some of these guys. So honestly, I don't have any problem with this. I think this person is a snail breeder, so this person probably knows what exactly what they're doing. They got the water parameters right. They're doing their maintenance. There's no way she doesn't like snails or is not a snail breeder. That's not an accident. Those are ram's horns. And assassin snails, that's a cool behavior to see. Like it's real time hunting. It's like a National Geographic movie happening in your fish tank. That's great, four out of five. Buying a fish. This does not end well. Which one? Meet Stewart. Frogs. We took Stuart to the car wash, and he was very excited, making his new home. We love him. Oh no, he jumped out of the cup. Yeah. That, that's more like it. <laughs> that's what I call the quintessential uh, TikTok bed of fish video right there. Why is it always beside the sink? I've owned a lot of fish tanks and I've never set one up anywhere near a sink. These people are self-prescribing meds they should not be on. These people are crazy. NML sent in their 29 gallon high tech after their big trimming. They've got harlequin raspberries, rominos, tetras, otosynclas, snails and shrimp. That centerpiece lace sword is doing things to me. What? And that carpet is straight up crazy. Holy cow. That's so thick. Epic. The substrate is looking crazy as well. I don't know what's going on in this tank, but yeah, it's pretty adequately stocked. 
by five out of five. Keep it up. This one is crappy because it's about to be all over the floor. You can just imagine like that cartoony piano sound as everything comes crumbling to the ground. Five out of five stand. After just four months since I picked him up from a plastic container, my boy passed away. Everything was perfect. Water, temp, feeding, etc. Ah, uh, bro. I was here, man. I had a betta fish named Phoenix. This exact thing happened. Don't be too hard on yourself. I know you did everything perfectly. Your betta fish had a great life with you and just hope for the best for your next betta fish. Kate Blacui. Holy crap, man. This is the 15 gallon fluval flex. Kate is flexing out here. Crazy centerpiece wood. Looking like an octopus. Oco stone surrounding it. All the plants. Wonder what your stocking's gonna be. 4.7 out of 5. Keep it up. Selling some of his guppies. I wouldn't want any. I can feel the spinal mutations from here. The bad spinal genes. Like what kind of conditions are you raising these poor boys? Maybe do a water change for once in your life. Me. Facebook groups. Please give me some direction on how to fix my algae problem. Facebook groups. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what this is, Chi Chi's aquatic memes, but it always gets me, man. They have the best memes. Posh. Oh, <laughs> uh, yo, this one caught me off guard. It's actually pretty funny, especially because I've experienced this in real life. Eve sent in their five gallon fish tank and the betta's name is Miso. We got the artificial plants, but they do look kind of, they do look kind of real and they're not sharp or anything. So it's not going to be too much of an issue for your beautiful betta fish, by the way. The red and white patterns with that dark black tail. That's a five out of five betta right there. Overall scape is three out of five this overcrowded tank that my brother has damn how are you gonna let your brother buy that many fish for that small of a tank those angels are gonna outgrow it those tetras have already outgrown it they got long fin skirt tetras they got black skirt they got glowfish skirt uh sounds like i was mumble rapping just now skirt skirt captain cichlid damn that's a cute tamago hopefully it can get out though these holes don't look that big they're for the streets that's like a blood paris cichlid iron man edition i gotta get tamago one of these things look at me i'm the copter now raffle copter bro this guy really does identify as a helicopter it is not a joke. Selling due to upgrading. I mean, good. I don't see a problem with that. Bro, upgrade away. Upgrade as much as you can on that. But I hope they don't mean upgrading as in they're gonna get a bigger tank so they can have more fish. Because the only upgrade happening here is if they get a bigger tank, a much bigger tank, and keep this number of fish without getting more. Sad to say, if I was a betting man, I wouldn't bet on that. Mula Sawala sent in 10 gallon shrimp tank. This was the old stocking. So now it's a shrimp tank, shrimp only tank, which is beautiful. That's like a shrimp paradise are you kidding me this stocking is actually like i don't have too much of a problem with it the live bearers could get a little bit bigger and as long as your betta fish is not too angry at any of them or also getting their fin nipped by the cardinals i just don't know what that plan is up top uh chris that's just uh, anubius get the f out of here that's no anubius bro 4.65 out of 5 keep it up Found on the side of the road this morning doing a leak test now if it passes is there any hope of cleaning this thing oh yeah damn that is kind of dirty and it's not just dirty it's i think it's calcium buildup but the good news is yeah there's definitely ways to clean this and it doesn't have to be too hard either my next question is are you the dog woof woof bro i would fill a spray bottle with white vinegar and soak the calcium before trying to wipe it with a soft cloth give it a try a free tank is a terrible thing to waste i think if you do clean it you should turn it into a terrarium rather than risk putting water and fish in it making it into a terrarium is a hundred percent more safe fish arguing you suck well you blow okay cheap joke to end off this episode welcome back to the end of the episode thank you for tuning all the way until the end hope you guys enjoyed and before i let you guys go we got to answer the cartoon question of the week what is is your go-to platform is it youtube is it instagram is it tiktok what is it? now i think it's going to be a little biased because you're watching this on youtube so you probably use youtube the most but let me know and is it long form content is it short form content all right y'all if you enjoyed this episode please smash that like button there'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet tetra 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 we in a spot coming in hot ventral fin die acclimate that with my shoal act hear my fin rot from carousiformes to parenteral on hold on there's not another fish that you can wish for live fam says i finna one i finna gone three days without furt i'm an addict like fanatic i'm a baddest no tabs only dirt my cory gang so loyal black tetra go skirt we came to play came to silence gang.